Dylan Gutenberg, and I'm a professional photographer. We do things in life for two reasons. And that was Sigmund Freud who coined that. Uh, it's quite simplistic, but he said, we do things either to gain pleasure or to avoid pain. So photography actually puts me in the zone. I am sort of employ different areas in my brain, some creativity. Everywhere I go, I look at things. I look at opportunities and I look at um, people and I look at uh, landscapes and I look at uh, forms and shapes and I think, oh, maybe I could take that photo or maybe I should take that photo. Or maybe I could come back to here another day, another time and use that location. So all that is at the back of my mind everywhere I go. So it's like a constant buzz bzz, that, you know, Look, it does take a toll. Uh, I'm not the best person to walk around the streets with because I engage people and I stop and, um, you know, I have my own thing going on all the time, but uh, that's my thing. I actually enjoy interacting with my subject, making them engaged and learning about who they are and their lives and then creating something that is timeless. I really enjoy the whole process until I have a photograph that I'm happy with and I can say, yeah, I'm happy to display that. I'm, I'm proud to have, to have taken that photo. So I use monochrome uh, for a few reasons. The main reason is it's extraordinary. Um, so life is in color. Most of us see life in color. And monochrome actually eliminates all those distracting elements and I can then emphasize the areas that I want you, the observer, to look at. And the last reason is actually my style. So I actually am known for this. So sometimes I do it just because, you know, I want people to recognize it as my art. Every now and again, I actually go and I explore something new. Everything has already been photographed and you can just repeat what other people did. And the trick is to be innovative and to show unique work. So. I think that's becoming harder and harder, and so I love the challenge. So I went to uh, Cairo in January 2020, and I, I really enjoyed interacting with people. So I, on my flight from Amman to Cairo, I was sitting beside a, a woman who uh, taught me how to ask, can I take your photo in Arabic? And then I realized that if I shake people's hand before I ask to take their photos, they're more likely to say yes. And some said, where are you from? And I say, New Zealand, oh, Kiwi. And, you know, they were really happy and some felt honored and some said no, but most actually were uh, more than happy to create their photos. And uh, when I got back home, I, I edited these photos and I was looking for a venue to show that as part of Auckland Festival of Photography. When you go to a different land, you become immersed in that culture with the food and the atmosphere and the vibration and the people. So it puts me really, um, you know, I'm really engaged with doing that.